crankshaft position sensor right there. Power steering right here. This is the crank pulley AC compressor. Okay. All right, so looking at the vehicle from where the coolant reservoir is, you've got crank position sensor, power steering, AC compressor, and this one I believe is also a, uh, oh, this is for the evaporator for the AC. So those are all unplugged and uh, we'll go on to the next. All right, so you disconnect the this right here once you remove the nut okay and then the ground is right here so now we've got all this part of the wiring harness disconnected so both battery cables and then we've got this part here disconnected as well so we should be able to guessing fish that through but we'll check in the next step all right we're going to remove this here evap canister purge valve and you can either take it off with these two nuts here or you can uh, take the whole bracket off which is what i did and uh there should be a cover here on the wiper cowl the studs will poke through there you've got two nuts and then that other third nut um, pokes through right here which you can get with like an extension with a swivel on it so that's where we're at all right so here's where we're at we have this whole mess of wiring flipped over the engine we have the ignition coils removed pcv so we're pretty much just down to the valve cover now and hopefully we'll have enough room to get it off the vehicle. All right, here's the update. Got the valve cover off. Oh man, you really have to wrestle with it. It gets hung up back here on the heater core hoses and everything. so. Good luck with that. Um, once you get it off, you want to clean the surface here. Um, you want to put some gasket maker right here on this little joint and then down here as well. I'm not done cleaning this off, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to get it nice and smooth so the gasket has a good mating surface. Um, you want to install new grommets. I kept all my bolts in order. And uh, this is the valve cover. So you just wanna kinda clean it off from all the residue. So that way, especially around here, it has a nice mating surface for the grommets. And uh, yeah, then it's time to go back in. If you have like a um, brush with plastic bristles, you can go ahead and scrub down the valve cover. I'm using some of this stuff to kinda clean it up. Um, and yeah all right so i just finished torquing down all the bolts and you can see here the gasket is nice and uh evenly distributed all the way around do, 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 do. and the torque spec is 10 newton meters or 89 inch pounds so if you do the math, divide 89 by 12, you get seven and a half, seven times 12 is 84. Yeah, like seven and a half foot pounds. So now I'm just gonna reassemble everything going in the reverse order and uh, we should be good to go. So one thing I forgot to say, and this was a lifesaver, is you remove this sensor from the housing. And I'm not sure 
honestly if you're gonna be able to get the valve cover off without it so you just twist it kind of like a light bulb and it comes right out and uh I'll plug that back in and then i also took off this bolt down here just to give this wiring loom a little more slack all righty Car's running, car's back together. Just make sure everything's plugged back in. You do have to disconnect a lot of stuff, so, you know, make sure everything's good to go. You wanna check around here, but mainly you wanna check like down here for me. Right there where that little metal area is. Over here. If it's gonna leak, that's, that's usually where it'll leak. 